Welcome back to Julian's Magician School. Look at this. I ordered two small magic wands and this is what comes in the mail. You see they come out of big machines these days and they cut the sections off and they've left the middle section in there. So that means I've got to cut it out. But here's the thing, you've got to be careful because if you cut too little, reduce magic powers. You cut too much and flat out your magic wand won't work. So I've devised this little test and I'm happy to share it with you. Take yourself a piece of string or a shoelace, it matters not. And then pull it through so it's quite snug there. And then fold over and get the ends of the tubes so they're nice and even. It doesn't matter where the string is, but as long as the tubes are nice and even, and then come up to where the ends of the wands are marked up there and then you've got to put a bit of pressure because you've got to cut through the string as well so you cut through now you've got to reach in and try to get the two ends before they slip out hang on, there's one, there's two give them a little twist now Keep those nice and tight because what you're going to do is get rid of one of those because <laughs> you only need one of these. Shape it out. Oop. Shape it out. And now you're just going to give one little tap like that. And if you do that and you have done your cuts correctly, you see it's back in one piece. The cut and restored string is a classic magic trick that's normally done with a piece of string and a drinking straw. Couple of problems with it though. Uh, when you put the string through the drinking straw, it's really thin and hard to get through. And uh, there's a secret cut uh, in that straw, which we're gonna find out about. Uh, but when you fold it over and you have to pull the string uh, down a bit, it finds it hard to get through that uh, straw. It's pushed together and so when it finally does come through, it comes through in a jerk like that. And it's a really big giveaway to how the trick works. So I came up with this version, which I think is gonna make it a whole lot easier for you guys and you actually might get out there and start performing this trick. All right, so what you're gonna need is uh, go to my website here and you can download yourself uh, one of these little wand uh, bits of paper. Now when it prints out it's going to have this white strip along the top, top there. Just snip that off and you end up with that. Roll that uh, from the white side first into a tube. Get four little bits of tape and stick it on the white bits there. And then we're going to make the secret cut. Have a look at this. Find the crease and then fold that little section there. Don't fold the whole thing out, just fold that bit there. And now you're going to cut a little notch <laughs> on the outside of the line and then you're going to cut along. So the idea is we're cutting off just a thin section here and then we get, get to the line, go another 45 degrees and do a little notch out like that. And open that back up. You might need to just press that out and this is what you get. You get this uh, long tapered groove through there which is where the string is going to slip through. Now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, go exactly to the middle as close as you can and keep this, there we go, it's going a bit off here, but you want to keep this uh, cut uh, exactly halfway along and then fold over so your ends are now touching and now what you want to do is just push gently so don't crease it down hard but you just want to do a little pre-fold in there so it's not too bad just when you hold it that side and you're doing the trick and your fingers are covering it it's not a big deal but the idea is that it's pre-folded so when you pull it it'll just fold exactly where you want to fold it so now you've got your wand and it's got the secret cut in it all you have to do is make sure that that secret cut faces you the whole time and then you're pretty set for angles. If you want to show it round a bit, just put your four fingers over the cut and you can show it nice and cleanly. If your fingers aren't very good, then put your whole fist around it like that. So with the cut facing towards you, 
you go through your story, whatever presentation you want, and you slide your string through from one end to the other, turn it horizontal, and so what I want to do is line the string up with the crease of the paper here. So I put my index finger and thumb and pinch it on that side, index finger and thumb and pinch it on then this side. And when I pull it tight, see it starts to come. In fact, it's actually coming right through the crease in the paper, which is where you want it to be. And remember, that's hidden from the audience. They can't see. And when you start to fold, so now the string is starting to come through like that. And remember, the blind side is always facing the audience. You just fold it in and pull the string as you go. And you can immediately show it like that. It's very clean. Then you're going to make sure the ends are lined up here. And without making a big reference to it, you can just say the strings don't have to be exact. But it flows through, which is one of the things the, str the string in the straw won't do. It won't pull through a lot of the time. Then all you do, you don't have to pull that down and really snug it down because just pulling the string back and forth will snug it into place where it needs to be. Then you're going to actually press on the line up here and you're going to be feeling for where that string is. And you put your fingers on the string and that way it means you're not going to cut. Now you don't have to cut exactly on the little black line that's there. Just cut through and give yourself plenty of clearance of that string and make it look like you're cutting through the two pieces of string. It's really easy. We're going to make it look like it's hard. Then immediately turn uh, the two little ones vertical. Puff them out and don't turn that way. Just keep it vertical and go through the pretense that you're looking for both sides of the two pieces of string, but really, it's one piece. It's that loop. That's all that's through there. But you're just going to do a little bit of play acting and say, I'm going to get those between my fingers, give it a twirl to keep them together. Remove those, keep those hidden in the fingertips. Now, get rid of one of these. And the reason for that is, is because See there's two little notches there, like that? You don't want people seeing those notches. So uh, when you pull it out, you turn those towards you, get rid of one, however you want, all right? And then the other one here, you're going to, see the little notch there? You don't want them seeing that. So I'm gonna put my fingers over that, and that's how I'm gonna hold the magic wand. And then one little tap, and then you can get rid of that if you want. And then a little whoop, and it comes back together. All right, remember if I can do it, you can do it.